going on everybody hope you guys are doing good today with me i got this uh freightliner cascadia 2015 and i had this code that, that it popped into the dash you can see the amber lines is on but for this code the check engine light will be on as well and um so it would turn on after five seconds once you start the truck and the code that i had was uh spn 520323 fmi4 that code has is related to the def dozing unit so i did some research and it had to do with uh first we got to check uh see if the harness is good and then we have to check see if the if it has a a, a good uh ground um from from the harness to the dozing unit so what you can do is to look at the code is um if you come over here um right here it says uh press uh enter and then uh, we come over here press enter and we go down uh, so what i do doing right now is uh, pressing the minus button and right now in diagnostic we're going to press enter again and right here it says uh, active code zero. That's because I already uh, find what, what the problem was. So I'm, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you where the dozing unit is located and what is the problem causing this code to pop up. So what I did here is uh, I removed the steps on the passenger side so I can take a look at that dozing unit. So here you have the two filters. And the dosi unit is located right here. So the problem that I found is that if you look at the harness, it was rubbing right on the frame, on the aluminum frame. So all you gotta do is <clears throat> follow the harness and, and take a look and see if you find anything. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut this off. Uh, I'm going to put some new connectors on it and waterproof connectors. Um, and I'll show you uh, what the process looks after I'm done. So this is what I did. I cut all the insulation, separate the wire. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and use this connector. I'm going to press it in. And then I'm gonna heat it up. And this should shrink, seal that, and prevent water going into the wire, touching the copper line, pretty much. So I did the connection already. Next step will be heating it up with the heat gun. And all we're doing is uh, heating it up slowly. I kind of want to heat up the middle, the middle side first. You could put like a piece of insulation on the other side, that way you don't damage the wire. But I'm done. I done this so much that I mean, I pretty much have an idea when I'm overheating it. But if you guys wanna. I'm gonna play it safe, you guys can put something on this wires, but that way you don't burn them or anything like that. And another thing is that you don't have to use a heat gun, you can use like a little torch. That works uh, the same as well, but it's really fast. But you have to be really careful with it. Yeah. Just take your time. If you don't have a heat gun, you can do it with, a, like I say, with a little torch, small little torch. But it's, you gotta really um, play it safe. So the connection is already uh, good. So um, next step would be using this. Uh, this looks like a tape, electric tape, but it's a different material. Uh, it, it works really good. Um, 
it protects water going in there going through those wires so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap all this then after that I have this uh, insulation and it's split in half so I'm gonna wrap it over here I'm gonna put some zip tie here that way it would never touch this uh, part again so I'll show you guys how um, when it's done so this is the finished uh, product secure everything make sure this doesn't rub here make sure this is not touching anything and then uh, if you guys are interested where I got this from this is the same material that Volvo use on all the harness um, so I got this from them I think it all depends um, where you guys get it from but I got it from uh, tech equipment and this is around 40 bucks so this is really it's expensive but since I'm putting it right next to this uh, to the one box so it's gonna be heat and other stuff water and moisture and all the stuff going in there so this is really good to put it on uh, if you're gonna use tape then what it's gonna do is uh, all the heat all the moisture and all the stuff what it's gonna do is like it's gonna be really hard to take it off if you have to repair it or inspect it or whatever so this is really good to use um, and then uh, hopefully this video was helpful enough and thank you for watching and leave a like and yeah there's a lot of snow so you gotta do what you gotta do right <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Bye.